Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at the basic operations of an operational amplifier. Here we have the input signal connected to the inverting terminal, which means that if the input voltage is positive, the output voltage will be negative, and if the input voltage is negative, the output voltage will be positive. To make it easy, let's assume to start off with that this is a positive input voltage. Also notice that the negative and plus signs here have really nothing to do with the polarity of the input voltage or the output voltage. These are simply, the negative simply means that's the inverting terminal and the plus here simply means that's the non-inverting terminal. Also notice that we have a resistor here called R sub I, which is the resistor on the input signal. We call that the input resistance. And here we have the resistance connected to the output signal. This is called R sub F for feedback resistor because it kind of feeds back the signal back to the input. We also have to realize that the potential difference between the two terminals here, between the, non, the inverting terminal and the non-inverting terminal, the difference here in potential is equal to zero or nearly equal to zero, which means that the potential between here and here must be zero as well. Also realizing that the current inputs to the non-inverting terminal and to the inverting terminal are nearly zero, so the only currents at A are only from R sub I and R sub F as indicated here. Now let's assume for a moment that this is a positive input voltage, that the current is flowing in this direction, that this is a negative output voltage, so the current through RF will go in that direction as well. Now using the Kirchhoff's rule for uh, currents at a junction, we can then say that the current I sub I, the current on the input, must be equal to the sum of the currents leaving that junction, and that would be equal to I sub F, plus zero, zero of course being the current to the non-inverting terminal. I just wrote the plus zero so you can see that I'm not forgetting about that third connection there. And then we can say that using Ohm's law, the current is equal to the voltage divided by the resistance. The voltage difference would be V sub A minus V sub I. That would be V sub A minus V sub I divided by R sub I must be equal to the voltage difference here that would be V sub O minus V sub A divided by R sub F. And then remembering that V sub A has to be equal to zero because that's connected to ground, we can then say that minus V sub I divided by R sub I is equal to V sub O divided by R sub F. Now if we solve that equation for V sub O, then we will have the output voltage as a function of the input voltage. In other words, V sub O is equal to the negative of V sub I, and that of course that makes it an inverting operational amplifier, times the ratio uh, that would be here R sub F divided by R sub I. And it's this ratio here that gives you the, the amplification of the operational amplifier. For example, if the ratio is 5 to 1, then the input voltage or the output voltage will be 5 times the input voltage, although, of course, the negative of that. And the ratio R sub F over R sub I is also known as the gain factor of the amplifier. All right, so that's the basic operation of an operational amplifier with the signal connected to the inverting terminal, you get an inverted output voltage relative to the input voltage. In the next video, we'll do an example of how we actually use that in a real-life circuit. And that's how it's done.